Hello, hello everyone. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. I am so excited to tell you about some speed reviews. Uh, I have a box of items here that I am very excited to tell you about. Before I do that, today's tea of the day is a new Earl Grey to me. I love Earl Grey. I got this as a sample in my sips by box. This is from the Sipping Streams Tea Company, which I've had a few things from them before and I do like their products. This is their organic Earl Grey black tea. Now I literally just finished steeping it and adding a splash of milk. I have not tasted it yet. I like my Earl Greys to have a lot of bergamot, so let's try. Ooh, I like the black tea that they used with this, actually. The black tea flavor is, is good. I would say the bergamot in this one actually isn't that perfumey, but it's a good bergamot. Hmm. I guess I personally would like a little bit more bergamot but i still have to say the flavor is is very good all right thank you guys for being patient with me in the past couple of months i haven't been posting as much just because i mean i, I keep telling you guys i'm a community tab we my husband and i are starting another business so i haven't been able as much to keep up with my hobbies but i am very excited <laughs> to sit down with you guys today so the very first thing i want to talk about is this product from Milani. So I finally caved. One of the things I've been trying to do is avoid to buy, avoid buying lip products. I love lip gloss. I like buying all the different kinds. I love trying them, <laughs> but you know, they do go off <laughs> after a couple of years or so, I guess, depending on the gloss. Um, but I, I did cave and buy a few to try. So this one is from Milani. This is the Fruit Fetish uh, Lip Oil. <laughs> and I purchased mine in the shade Strawberry Melon. I have a swatch of it here in my hand and I have a swatch already just because I wanted to show you one of the things that this does for me is it tends to stain my lips which I don't think this is supposed to be a lip stain and I don't know if all the colors do that and I thought it would just be kind of a sheer pinky lip oil and it does look like that when I put it on but I feel like I don't know if it's got that pH color changing thing in it but I feel like it gets more pink as I wear it now I want to see if it will stain my hand like it does my lips it does See, it left a pink stain, which I thought was very odd for a lip oil. And look at like the bright, bright pink color <laughs> that that is. So this shade, very pink. I guess I don't mind it staining my lips. I was just very surprised. And the fact that that color turns such kind of a bright kind of Barbie pink on my lips. This isn't a color I can wear all the time. And this particular lip oil has one of those great big doe foots on it. I just love that. <laughs> I love how so many products are getting this now. The scent, well, mm, eh. <laughs> so the whole reason I purchased this shade in the lineup because with so many people said it smelled very nostalgic, very 90s childhood. And you know, I, I guess I agree with that. A lot of things smelled like this but it is not something that I like. <laughs> I was like expecting, I don't know, just something else. I smell it and I go, okay, yes, I can see the 90s nostalgia, but I don't think it's a particularly good smell. Very, very fake watermelon, watermelony. Oh no, yeah, strawberry melon. I can tolerate it, but it's just not my very favorite. I was hoping for something a little bit better considering so many people raved about the scent. As for how it feels on my lips, it's definite, it's kind of an in-between. It's not very thick and hydrating like my favorite liquid lip balms, but at the same time, it's not really kind of runny like some lip oils can be. So I will wear it. It'll be a really fun color in the summertime, just not something I can wear all the time because of the way it stains my lips. Now let's move Move on to this cute little blush from Benefit. So a friend of mine gave this to me to try. This is the shade Dandelion and this is one of the new shades. Well, I don't know. Dandelion's been around a long time, right? But I feel like this is like the new packaging and everything. Anyway, so this is supposed to be like a baby pink color. My friend who has more tan skin, this did not even show up on her. And honestly, when I swatched it, I was kind of like, I don't know if it'll show up on me either. It just seems so, look at how light it is. But weirdly enough, it's actually really pretty. I was going to make maybe pass this on to a very, very pale friend of mine, but I think I'm gonna keep this. I think it is kind of unique in my stash. It has a very, very slight sheen to it that it's kind of, it mostly looks matte, but when you put it on your cheeks, I do think it does have a very pretty kind of satiny sheen to it, but see how light it is? It is very light. This is definitely for someone who doesn't want bright blush, but this particular shade, even though I did have to really load it up <laughs> on my cheeks, I really liked how it looked. So I think I think it's a good one. If you've never tried Benefit blushes before, they are quite scented. I do wish they, they weren't so perfumed. It's not my favorite. Let's talk about this highlighter. <laughs> I've had this actually for quite a while, been testing it and absolutely loving it. So I have the pink one, which is this shade Mesmerize from Rare Beauty. It comes in this beautiful 
packaging like rare beauty it's i just love the theming of their packaging and mm -hmm, i'm sure you've seen other people talk about this if you haven't yet this is a beautiful baked formula it feels almost like a cream when you put your fingers into it because it is so silky smooth and it is very very reflective you need this the tiniest idiotiest bit little bit <laughs> to get a beautiful highlight holy smokes look at that <laughs> So that is what it would look like if you put it on full opacity. But if you do blend it out, it gets that gorgeous kind of wet look that I love in a highlighter. I heard some people mention that they thought that this was really glittery. I don't think it's glittery per se. I did see a video where someone applied this with like a big giant fluffy brush, which I think was a mistake <laughs> because I, I could see like little tiny, I don't know, bits of mica floating everywhere. If you're unsure about it, Swatch it in store, you'll see exactly what the hype is about. I like it, and I want two more shades. <laughs> okay, something that I think that is so good, I will probably end up putting this in my year-end favorites. This is such a neat product. So this is from Kaleidos Makeup. Kaleidos is one of those brands that is such an OG on my channel. It was the first indie brand I got excited about. I think I discovered Kaleidos before I discovered Sydney Grace. So I, I really enjoy the brand and they came out with eyeliners. I think last year I finally got my hands on one. I kept the box so I can remember what it's called because it's not on the packaging. This is the Epiphany Glow Melt On Eyeliner and I have the shade Limelight. So obviously it's a bright, bright green, but it is so beautifully creamy. Oh my gosh. And it has a lot of pigment and it's a multi-chrome. Plus, once you put it on, it's super budge proof. Like you find that at the end of the night when a lot of your makeup is gone, this will still be there and you'll have to use some patience with your cleanser to remove it. I don't mind that when it comes to eyeliner because you know, when you put eyeliner on, you want it to stay where you want, where you put it. I know it's really hard to get a, like, a proper look at the shift on camera, but it shifts from kind of a limey green to kind of a periwinkle blue. It's really, really lovely. This is another item I kind of want all the shades in now. I think it is so good. So I've been trying out this blush from Rose Ink for quite a while, trying to get my thoughts together on it. It just, I don't know, it just took me a while to figure out what I, how I felt about it. So this is a lip and cheek color. It does, again, have very pretty packaging. I don't know why it's so satisfying, but it is. <laughs> I picked up the shade Daylily. I picked this shade because it was described as kind of a taupey color. You know, it's a warm taupe. It's a very easy shade to wear. I would say it's kind of similar to Tower 28 Magic Hour. Actually, let's watch them next to each other. I'll swatch this one. So here is Daylily from Rose Ink and Magic Hour from Tower 28. So definitely quite similar to each other. The formula is, again, kind of similar, but not exactly the same. The one from Tower 28 is perhaps more emollient, although this one isn't, you know, lacking emollients either. It's kind of to the point with blushes where there's so many formulas that are kind of like this <laughs> that it's hard for me to find something super unique to mention about it. I think if you are if you like this type of blush in a pan like the one from Honest Beauty, the ones from Tower 28, I think that you will like these too. They're definitely all in kind of the same realm and and Rose Ink has a lot of great colors. I think that's one of the like big standout things is that they have some amazing colors. <laughs> so I would totally get another one of these. I just don't have the I don't know, I just don't think it's unique enough to rave about like some people have been. I think it's more about if you find a color that's perfect for you, that's where it, the excitement really comes in. But I'm glad I tried it. I'm happy it's in my collection. Okay, let's talk about a couple palettes. First, this face palette from NARS. Again, something else I've been trying out for a long time, trying to get my thoughts on it. So NARS discontinues things constantly. So this is more about the formula than the actual palette. This is the Rising Star cheek palette. I found it at TJ Maxx. So I just want to talk a little bit about this kind of a baked formula. I'm usually a big fan of baked formulas, and I find that I do like this, but I think I like their regular just powder blushes more. Sometimes this formula I find to be kind of difficult to pick up on a brush, and maybe it's different if you're using a natural hair brush, but some of these shades are really, really beautiful. I especially loved these two kind of neutrally ones here on the end. This one was such a surprise. I was not expecting how gorgeous that was. So they are quite sheeny. And see, I got good pigment when I picked it up on my finger, but I often struggle with a brush. At the same time, they are beautiful on the skin, but I think in the future, I'm going to just purchase their regular powder blushes over the baked formula. But I still like it enough to use it, and I'm happy I have it in my collection. It does, this definitely does have some unique shades in it that I don't have. Let me quick swatch these out. If you um, 
see this at TJ Maxx. I did a quick swatch out the rest of these shades so you can know what they look like. It's a very, very thin baked formula. I mean, all baked formulas are kind of thin, but this one I feel like is probably the thinnest I've ever tried. I realized I started swatching ones I'd already swatched. <laughs> Whoops. So there we have the shades. Really, really pretty. Beautiful. Um, I have not worn that one. It's a bright, it's a very deep shade. <laughs> But, you know, these more neutrally ones I definitely do wear. All right, one last item to talk about, and that is this palette from Nabla. I have not been trying out a whole lot of palettes, so I felt like I really gave a long time to trying this one out and trying out all the different formulas in it. So a couple of these formulas were very familiar to me because I have tried Nabla's single shadows before. So this shade up here called Body and Soul and also this shade called Better Society. Those are like their, their twinkle formula shade. It's kind of a dry formula, which it's not a bad thing. Oops, I already had I already had stuff in my fingers. I'm here. I'm trying to swatch. So this is Body and Soul and this is the shade Better Society. So you can see they are very, very pretty twinkly topper shades, but sometimes when you try those, they are, they are more squishy, more wet. This is more of a dry formula. I guess I don't really have a preference one over the other. They are both beautiful. I find that I like the matte formula. It is very easy to blend, not too pigmented, and the shimmer shades are pretty too. Nothing that really, you know, blew me out of the water, but very pretty still. So there's a couple of the shimmer shades. I think my very favorite shade in here actually was the shade called Love Ritual, which I was not expecting because I think with this like the background, it looks just kind of gray, but it's not gray. It's kind of pewterish, but with a little bit of violet in it maybe. I find that I am really, really drawn to these kinds of colors, kind of pinky grays. And I just love wearing that all over the list. <laughs> Super beautiful. This is a really nice neutral palette. It did not overtake my very favorite neutral palettes and like kick them out of the place in my heart. But I know that whenever I reach into this palette, I will have an easy time, an enjoyable time. And now I know what the Nabla formula is like. Like I said, I've tried their singles before, but not a palette. So I'm happy to have this in my collection. It is really pretty. Oh, I think that was everything that I had to show you guys today. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you've tried any of these products and you would like to share your experience, please share it down in the comments. I love when people do that because everyone's experience with makeup is so subjective and so very individual to that person. So it may just help someone if you share your experience with, oh, I've got a hair sticking to my lip. <laughs> it may just help someone if you share your experience. Thank you guys again so much. I will see you again very soon in the next one. Bye.